from a Miami spec house for $34 million to the Malibu former home of actress Sally Field to the 1920s Los Angeles home of artist Shepard Ferry. These are the luxury properties we get to drool over today with Candace Taylor from our mansion team. Hi, Candace. Great to see you. Hi. Let's start with that stunning Miami estate that even has a two-story water slide. Yes. <laughs> I love this water slide. I want to go and play I on it. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want to play on the water slide? It, it also has a basketball court. I mean, tell, tell yes. us about some of this. So the developer, so this is a brand new, newly built spec house. And the developer said he just really wanted it to be a fun house. So that's how he got the water slide. He has a separate building with the half basketball court Amazing. in it. The pool Something is Something tells me an NBA star would love this house. So right. maybe that's why the basketball court is there. Because there's also a basketball basketball hoop in the pool. Wow, there you go. It is it is stunning. No one's ever lived in it though, right? right? Brand new. So the developer is asking top dollar. You think he's going to get it? Well, the market's does, softening a little bit in Miami, isn't right, it? Right. The high end is softening a little, but for your $34 million, you do get a custom-built dock. Mm. The builder will build a dock for whatever your specific boat is. Very so nice. So get that thrown in. I would certainly consider it if I had the $34 <laughs> million. Now let's move on to the former home of actress Sally Field. That's on the market in Malibu. Lovely home. But it's not on the beach, right? No, it's not on the beach. Um, it's up in the hills. You know, beautiful property, three acres. And Sally sold this house a few years ago to a family with kids and she actually it was really nice she left them a note and a bunch of gifts for the kids when they moved oh, in. Oh what a treat and yeah. since that family has been there they also built an enormous teepee. Yeah, yes. I love that. <laughs> so they view this as just kind of a paradise for the kids. Yes. So it has you know a horse facilities, a pool, a tennis court, a greenhouse but then they built this teepee which is like 20 feet tall fits 15 people and they say it's just great for play dates and parties and all that. Not stuff. just a paradise for the kids paradise for mom and dad and that's on the market market for 7.9 million, is that right? Yes. All right, that's a great one. Now, moving on, I love this 1920s Mediterranean style home in the Los Feliz section of Los Angeles. I love this 1920s architecture. Tell us about this house. Well, there's a lot of original detail here. There's a lot of wrought iron. You can see in the living room, they've got a beautiful arched wooden ceiling. Gorgeous. Um, and the artist actually worked a lot in this home, which I love. You can see the pictures of his studio in the garage. Right. This is Shepard Ferry, who yes. created that iconic poster of Obama, the Hope yes. poster. Mm -hmm. And you can still see his stuff in the garage. He uses yes. his garage as a studio. Is he going to leave any artwork behind? I Sweet highly <laughs> doubt it, but you could ask. But right. uh, one thing I love is he apparently made the Hope portrait in this house. He started it, and then he finished it actually in the delivery room as his wife was giving birth to their second Amazing. daughter. Amazing. So a home of hope and inspiration yes. and birth, all these great things. And it's on the market for $1.84 million? Yes. Mm -hmm. A veritable bargain compared to the other <laughs> properties. Compared to some of the others, yeah, yes. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. <laughs>